So as we can see, we've got um, a brilliant panel of experts this morning. So I'm just going to kick off. Advisory is a bit of a hot topic in the accounting world at the moment. Um, should you be doing it? Should you not be doing it? Is it taking over for compliance? Is compliance dead? There's all this kind of stuff around it. And I could probably talk about this um, for about eight hours with all of you. So I'm going to try and squeeze it all into uh, just the one hour this morning. First off, in your... Well, I'd even go further than that. I would say I've never yet met an accountant who is not doing advisory, but often mm. they don't realise they're doing it. Say that I again. Think... That's really important. I like that. I have never yet met a single accountant in the whole world who is not already doing advisory in one form or another. There and you are, the, folks. And the difference is that we as accountants have a tendency to complicate matters. If we put ourselves in the shoes of our clients and ask them what advisory is, they wouldn't know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. But if we were to ask them about saying, we believe as accountants, our job is to help you do better, mm -hmm. They go, yes, please. But doing better to every client is slightly different. Mm. But that's what we do as accountants. Mm. And the starting point, as both of you have said, is understanding their wants, where they are, where they want to be. The cliched words are goals and aspirations. But I would even simplify that further, just helping them do a bit better than they're doing now. And what most firms lack is the structure and the process and the belief to actually start charging properly and start articulating mm. how they help people do better. 